guys and welcome back to my channel it's ijama here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this structure detail so the original design is by prudential i saw it on prudential's page then someone sent it to me on instagram like i said if you have any simple not the most difficult styles that you can send to me let's say for a side request you can just send it to me on instagram at so with ijama now these are the materials that i'm going to be needing i have my fabric i have my gum so this interface that i have here is the thickest gum you can call this peplum stay you can also use a color stay for it then i have my crinoline. line i have three inches crinoline line there so i'll start by marking let's say 30 inches if you are making this detail the length should range from 27 to 30 inches but i marked 29 inches here so from the top of this paper i marked 29 inches and this line is where the 29 inches stopped at the next thing that i'm going to do is that i will mark an a shape a shape a very wide a so from the top of the paper i will mark my first a line you can see the a line there and then on the other side of this paper i will mark another a shape but this a will this particular side will not reach 29 inches it will stop at let's say 20 inches so this one is 20 inches the other one stopped at the 29 inches that i marked now i will measure this side i have like 30 and i measure the other side i have like 20 inches there then from the mid of this a from the midpoint of this a you come down by seven or eight inches from the midpoint i came down by seven inches from the midpoint remember then from there i will mark another a but this time around this particular a will be smaller than the first one it will be inside the first a and then the width the distance between these two shapes now should be like six inches highest it should be six inches so you can see the a that i have here this a shape one is longer than the other so i am trying to cut it out now and i will cut out the inner a i will cut from the inside and also cut from the outside now this is what i have here so i'll go ahead and cross check the thing is that after cutting this paper you can fix it on your client's body or on a dress form so that you will see what it looks like now i'm trying to see how it will look like and i noticed that the shorter a is a kind of long it is very long so i had to reduce three inches from it making it 18 inches so now the other side of this a the longer part is 29 inches the shorter part is is, um so, sorry the shorter part is 17 inches so you can see i reduced it by three inches now i will check again and i think i'm okay with what i have here the next thing that i will do is that i will reduce the width of the smaller a the inner a i feel like the width of the inner a the, the shorter a is too much so i reduce it from the inside so that the triangular shape there will be wider now i'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric and i'm cutting out on fold this fabric will be the main fabric and also the main lining so after cutting out on my fabric i'll go ahead and add my thickest gum or color gum to one of these if you want to add it to the two sides to the both fabric fine so as you are cutting out remember to add half an inch seam allowance around this a shape add your half an inch seam allowance around it if you feel like reducing the size you can reduce if you feel like extending it you can extend i hope you understand what i mean now i have two pieces here and i'll go ahead and add color gum color gum to one of them like i said if you want to add to the both of them fine but i added to just one side now i am done adding this color gum and the next thing that i'm going to do right now is that i will fix my crinoline inside so this is the crinoline that will be on the longer part and if you can notice i am placing this crinoline on the outer part of this a shape then i placed on the other side this crinoline is only on the outer parts of this a shape the inner part is just plain don't add your crino line there though if you want to add you are free but if you add on the outer part it is okay now i'll go ahead and join the two fabric together i'll place the other one on top of the pair then i'll go ahead and turn the outside and the inside then i will notch that v points it is very important 
go ahead and notch that v point the v just notch it then you will tuck it out you can see i am turning it so after turning this you go ahead and give it a very nice press you need to iron it very well so that your crino line will relax perfectly now i am done ironing and this is what it looks like i'll go ahead and style it on my dress form so this is my dress form if you don't have if you don't have a dress form after making the dress you can fix the dress on your mannequin and then you will style it on the mannequin so you can see how i am styling it just gradually if you have any adjustments you are free to make the adjustments yeah so you can see that the tutorial is not really that hard it's all about creativity and styling so guys our june online classes is ongoing we have the corset we have blazer we have jumpsuits we have reception dress we have hip padding we have kiddies wear. we have like seven classes so if you want to register for any of them just feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register so at the end of the day this is what you have i hope this detail is very beautiful and i'm liking this color i like this color it's very very fine i love it so guys thank you so much for subscribing thank you for liking and if you have not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that other soulmates can see the more you like the more other people are seeing it see you in my next video bye